All right, it's that time of year again. It's time to pick out our 2023 planners and set our goals and all that fun stuff. And I'm so excited. So <laughs> uh, 2022 was not a good year for me. Um, it's probably the hardest year I've ever had. So I have high hopes for 2023 and I'm very excited to get started planning my year. Enjoy watching what my planner lineup is gonna be and maybe it'll give you some ideas for yours too. So I have not posted on this channel in a while. <laughs> Uh, but we are in our new house in Michigan. We suffered a house fire earlier this year at my parents' house, but we're in a new place now. Mentally, I've been so much better, and I have a book coming out in March, so I'm super excited. A lot to plan for, so let's get started. So, uh, let me scoot all this stuff out of the way. So the first planner I have for this year is this beautiful one. I was so happy to see that the Happy Planner came out with this one. It is called... Let's see it's called beautiful blooms and it's 12 month planner um and it's a vertical layout so i'll show you what that looks like but this cover is so cool the happy planner has never done this before i don't think where uh they have like a see-through cover um it says let your ideas bloom on the see-through cover and it's got little gold specks on it super pretty these discs by the way are like nothing they've ever done um they're not rose gold and they're not, they're not pink, but they're not not pink, if that makes sense. I really, really like them. And then it's got this piece of like really pretty cardstock under the cover. I love the new planner feel. <laughs> um, so this is the title page. Very pretty. I love that it's actual photos of flowers and not illustrated ones. That's my favorite is like photos of stuff. So I think that's what drew me to this planner. Let me make sure this is in frame. Okay, sorry for the shadows, but I can't really help it. <laughs> uh, so we've got 2023-2024, and we've got some petals down the center here. Really pretty. This is a perpetual calendar. I want to use this for something this year. I'm, I'm thinking I might use it for like my writing schedule. So I didn't mention this, sorry, but this is going to be my writing planner for 2023. I've got a really pretty like monthly goals page that I'm very excited to use. I'm going to be writing down my writing goals and probably breaking them down into like a to-do list. So I'm not going to be doing like a full walkthrough of this planner. There's, there's those on YouTube, but I'm just kind of showing you what I'm using it for. So uh, this is going to be where like I do my social media posts, my writing, and then like any admin stuff like, you know, my website, my newsletter, uh, stuff like that, because I pretty much... I want to work on writing every single day, even if it's just a little bit. Um, and even if it's just like admin work or, you know, posting on Instagram or something, just anything that'll move the needle in my writing business. So yeah, I'm really excited. I love this planner. New planners like this make me so happy and so excited for the new year. So if nothing else, I mean, you know, that's really good. <laughs> so uh, this is also going to be like my main place where I keep all my other planner pieces. So um, I'm going to be taking months out of some other planners and putting them in here along with this. But I'm keeping everything all together for this one planner because I like to be able to flip to the months and see like when I have a book release coming or, you know, if I have an event coming up, I like to be able to flip all year and just have it all together. So I'm keeping all of these on one set of discs. If you don't know, the Happy Planner like lets you change stuff out, like almost like it's a binder. If you've never seen it before, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so let's keep this open because I am going to put in some stuff in here. So I think what we're going to do is keep everything for January like that. And then, okay, so this is going to be my work planner. This planner I got last year. That's where this went. I was looking for that. I got this planner last year. Or no, I got it this year. Sorry. So I, I got this planner this year. I love Alice in Wonderland. If you didn't know, it's like my favorite. So there's some sticky notes in here. I'm taking those out because I'm going to be using them. So this planner, if you haven't seen it before, it's got, uh, it's just like really plain, but it's got some pretty like florals down the middle for some months. And then for other months, it's got these rainbow stripes. And then it's got like Alice in Wonderland characters on the monthly section which is really cute so I'm going to flip to January which has the florals and little Alice here a little white rabbit 
and I'm going to take this out. Stick it in my corner. Ooh, that looks really pretty with the pink disc too. I really like that. Okay, so that's my work section. And then I'm going to have a like daily life section, like grocery lists, um, you know, errands, house cleaning, stuff like that. Um, I ordered a planner for this. Uh, it's a dashboard layout planner. It has not come in yet. Joanne has not shipped it yet. Um, but I really wanted to get this video up and I have no idea when they're going to ship it to me, which is fine. I mean, I have till January until I need it, but for now I'm just going to put in this undated dashboard extension pack. Um, so it looks like this and this is from maybe last year or a few years ago. I'm not really sure, but I still had it because anything we had that was in totes in the garage was saved from the house fire. Um, and thankfully I had like a lot of stuff that I really liked for my office in totes in the garage. Um, so I was able to keep this and this thing right here. I had this in there and it's got like all my old filler paper and stuff. So <laughs> thank goodness, right? Um, our other stuff wasn't so lucky, but at least I have this. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want to do now? Okay, so this was my, this is my life section. Um, it's, it says errands to buy, calls, email, bills to pay, focus, and then it's got like a box for every day of the week, and then an empty box here. So it's really good. It's a really good layout for just your daily life. I'm so sorry for the shadows. Oh, they look so bad. <laughs> so also what I want to do is take out this folder. It's got like a bunch of Disney princesses on it, and it says chase your dreams. It's really cute. And I'm going to stick this in my planner, probably at the back. I like to keep my folders at the back. So I'll stick that in here. Okay, let's flip back to the front. I'm gonna stick these. Oh, see, this is interesting because I can't do the sticky notes here because then you'll be able to see it through the window, which I actually don't mind. That actually looks kind of cute. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just stick it there for now. If it starts bugging me, I'll move it, but that's kind of cute. I look organized. <laughs> At least I look organized, right? Before we go to like the fun stuff I made for the front, let's go ahead and flip back to this back section here and I'm gonna put in some filler paper. So like I said, I have this huge thing of old filler paper that I have bought over the years. So I really like this um, Disney princess kind because it's really like, blank pretty much. It's got some stuff on the back here. It says notes and it has a little drawing and then it has a little castle drawing here. But other than that, it's pretty clean. So I really, really like it. I'm going to put in maybe about this much. I like to take a lot of notes. So just about all kinds of different things in my life. So put my notes here. And then also, um, I like to do like my budget every month. I like to write out what all my bills are. I have them all on auto pay and stuff, but I just like to keep track of it. Um, make sure we're on track um, with our other spending and stuff. So I'm going to take out one of these per month. So one, two, three. So these are some really pretty, um, just plain dot grid sheets with a little pink like hollow detail over here that says make it happen. So pretty. I love these pages. If I could have like a ton of these, I'd probably just use these exclusively, but I try to keep, I only have a few left. So I try to um, be sparing in how I use them. Actually, I only have two left. No. Okay. So I'm going to stick one of these at the beginning of each month. And that's what I'll put my like bills and stuff in. So this actually, um, when my life planner part for every month goes in here, um, it'll be part of that. So I'll probably be moving these. For now though, I just like to keep them in here so I know that I have them. And that way if I wanna like write a bill that's coming up, you know, I don't know. I'll just have a place to put it right away rather than having to like wait or put in a sticky note or something. I'm gonna fast forward through this.
Ooh, that's weird. I just realized that May has like sharp corners and every other month has these rounded corners. I wonder why that is. That's odd. Oh, isn't this March dashboard so pretty? Oh my word. Okay, yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm gonna have my writing stuff up in front and then my work and then my life, probably. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna have it. So actually, when I have these budget sheets, they're gonna be near my life section. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I added all that see how thick it is now. That looks pretty good. Um, but I have some other stuff to add. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, here in the very, very front, I think even before the title page kind of thing, I have all of these little things that I printed out and laminated. So this is my 2023 vision board. Um, it's got my upcoming book, which I'll actually flash that on the screen if you're interested. It's a Pied Piper retelling. I think you'd really like it. <laughs> um, so we've got that coming out in March. Super exciting. And then um, one of my favorite quotes by Emily Dickinson. Pause if you want to read or if you memorize this in school like I did. <laughs> we've got my book that I already have out, The Chocolatier Secret. I'll also flash that on the screen and link it if you're interested. Really cute story. It's a love story. Um, and then, you know, a book that I have kind of in the works. You can go ahead and see the cover. Why not? So I might be releasing this this year. I might not. We'll see. But so we've got that. And then I have my word of the year, which is productive. I really want to be producing a lot of work this year. That's kind of my focus for the whole year. Um, so yeah. And then I have my book cover just to kind of have it in my planner. Keep me inspired, you know. So I kept this here so I could punch it and then it wouldn't punch into the of the cover so I'm gonna be punching all of these with my happy planner punch just got this in the mail super excited and then I have my progress tracker for this book basically whenever I finish editing another chapter I color in a line and I made this myself on canva so I'm gonna probably put it in like this let's go ahead and punch these I'm sorry this is just here to make sure everything stays in frame I have my camera rigged up really weirdly <laughs> so I can actually film this all right, so basically how you use this punch is you just line it up in the middle, make sure it's like shoved in all the way. Do that. There we go, now I can stick it in. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go ahead and punch everything else really quick. Okay, that worked perfectly. So let's see. I think I wanna put this first. Sticker here. And then after that, I think I'll put in my word of the year. Ooh, pretty. Okay. And then I'll do my vision board. And I made all of this stuff in Canva, by the way. It's super, super easy to make. You just, you know, drag and drop. <laughs> and then we're going to put in this tracker here. Okay, so we've got our planner mostly set up, but now we have one other thing to do. So I ordered this and I figured we could open it together. It's dividers for my planner. So I got these from a shop on Etsy called Nikki's Paper. I will link it down below, of course. And it came very quickly, so I was really happy about that. I was looking for something that would ship pretty soon because I really wanted to set up my planner. Um, I was like dying to set it up, so. Yep, we've got, ooh, it comes with this nice cardboard to keep it from bending, which I love. I ordered these one time and I think they arrived bent because <laughs> it didn't ship them correctly. Okay, which is fine, but I like that they're not bent. So, okay, they're nice and flexible. They're not too thick. Uh, ooh, I like these actually, I like these a lot. And they're frosted. Um, so let's see how they look. So, oh, it goes like really well with the cover too. I love that. So let's go to my writing section since that'll be first. Let's 
stick one in here. And I like that it's full sheet because then it doesn't make like any weird lumps. Like say it stopped here, it would make some lumps in like pages. Like if you tried to write, it would, I don't know, it just isn't good. I can't really explain it. <laughs> but I like these full sheet ones. And then I like how they're clear so that like if you decorate your week, you can see everything and it's just really pretty. So I'm gonna make little labels on Canva and then print them out on sticker paper. Um, and this one will just say writing. So this is my work section. I actually think I'm gonna put work after my life section. Let's go ahead and move that. There we go. Okay, and then after the life section, but before the next, budget page and we'll put my work for January. And this is where I can put like my meetings because I typically have several meetings a week. So I'll put my meetings and then my to-dos in these two bottom boxes. So super simple. It's a simple little setup for that. Um, I might decorate each one of these every week because I really love decorating <laughs> my planner. So and it's fun to have like different layouts to decorate too. It just makes me want to use it more, you know. If it's not decorated, I don't tend to open it as much. And then it can't help me. So I want to decorate it so it can help me. And then I'll put the last divider back here in my notes section. And there we have it. That's my whole planner setup. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and take this off. Yeah, like I said, beautiful blooms is what this, this one is called. that packaging off and there we have it and I'll probably end up like this is really really pretty for now but I'll probably end up like putting my own thing in the front really quick before we end off let me figure out if one of these would look cute as as the background I just want to see what it looks like Ooh, I kind of like that that's really cool Okay, and let's try my vision board. I kind of like that too. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, that was just for fun. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you uh, got some good ideas. Maybe if you want to try a system like this, I'll have all the things I used linked below. If you want to check out my book, it is on pre-order. Um, and you can get it at the early bird price of 99 cents if you pre-order before March 13th. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order that, I would be so grateful. It would help me so, so, so much. You don't even realize. If you like fantasy romance, I think you'll like it. So also if pre-ordering just isn't your thing, I totally get it. And you can sign up for my newsletter and I will tell you when the book releases and then you can go get it if you're interested. So I'll link my sign up for my newsletter below as well. I'm going to be posting an office tour of my new office. It is fairy tale fantasy themed. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And I'm gonna be posting that video before too long. So thank you so much for watching. Happy planning and I'll see you next time.